What's up guys, my name is Danny Anime, and Bro, we're at 400 subscribers. Bro, are you serious? I am not shitting you. Swag. What's up guys, my name is Danny Anime, and we're going to be talking about Boku no Hero Chapter 58. We are moving up in that Boku no Hero greatness. Once again, we do get a recap of kind of what happened with everybody over their training with the different heroes. And I kind of like to see everybody's perspective, and I especially loved Bakugo's whatever training happened. I don't know what he did, but all they focused on was like perfection, and that was just the best seeing his hair like super straightened kind of like kind of like how i have my hair kind of combed over that's like this actually I, I swear if you make fun of me i'm gonna explode you well you have combed hair bro you can't do anything i like the comedy in this manga too like it's a little bit of comedy and then like whatever great boy saw i can't remember his name but great boy whoever has the grapes in his hair and whoever mount whatever mount lady did to him it must have scared the living crap out of him i have no idea but it was hilarious he's like you you, you gotta be scared of women and that is something to follow they can be scary sometimes i have some friends that are girls and they can be scary sometimes not not good to be around them when they are. The recap of Gran Torino and Deku. And it was kind of cool. Like, he was giving this kind of recap of, like, you're doing great and you're going to be a hero. He's, he's not telling them this. And I don't know why he didn't tell Deku. Um, Gran Torino didn't tell Deku um, All Might's real name, Toshinori. That's what I read in the translation. I could be wrong. Could be, like, Toshiro, I think, maybe, or Toshinori. Whatever it is, um... It, he didn't tell him the full name, so there's probably something going on with the truth about the one for all. And I'm very excited to see this back and this backstory, this kind of past, because it seems very hyped up. And I'm really excited. These last two chapters have really hyped it up, so I'm now I'm ready to see it. And I love that the mangaka of My Hero Academia he moves so fast. The pacing with the series is so fast that one that is a good thing and a bad thing. One that if the pacing is fast, that means we can blow through material and we're always on our feet, which is like epic, kind of like with. The the hero killer arc and sort of that part two of the villain alliance arc i really liked how it was fast paced and quick but at the same time it's bad because you're gonna run out of ideas very very quickly unlike like the manga the one piece manga i mean that's never gonna run out of ideas and plus dress rosa is like at least 150 chapters long and that's insane and this manga has like arcs that are only like six or seven chapters long so that's a good thing and a bad thing at the same time. I did like that he said Deku will be the next symbol of peace. And that name Deku is not going to mean nothing. He's not going to be a piece of trash. It's going to be the symbol of peace. He's going to be the next great hero. He is going to be the next great All Might. He will pass Todokori. He will pass Ilda. And we have to see them fight if we ever want to see that happen. And we better see them fight. Better see them fight. And I loved how the Grand Trainer at the end was like, Kid, what's your name? My name, my, my name's Midoriya. Kid, what's your name? It, 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 it's Deku, sir. Deku. Love that he stands up for himself now. And this has provided so much character development so quickly. Like, he's now proud of the name Deku. It's amazing. Like, he, he wants to be called Deku. And Deku is going to be the next greatest hero. Also, they do do some training too, which I like to see that, and it was so epic, but I do feel like this is a typical shonen thing to do, where like, oh yeah, he's gonna win, he's gonna be the best, and then he's passing everybody, and he surpassed everybody, but then he falls and loses, and he comes in last place at the last minute, breaking his ankle. Ah, I can just control the 5%, I can control the 5%, no, you missed it, oh, bro, bro. Either way, it was great to see that he was able to catch up to Bakugo's level of agility somewhat because now he can do the same kind of parkour moves of oh, what Bakugo can do. So they're kind of getting closer and closer. That gap Bakugo had when they first found those first couple chapters that is slowly shrinking and shrinking and shrinking. And Bakugo noticed this too, like, while I was screwing around for a week, this guy has been training and now he knows the parkour skills that I know. And this could be a huge agility boost in having that, having speed over power, that speed can counteract that power. And that's something Deku is going to work with. And having the one for all, and all for one, I mean, 
he has power too. So having power and speed is very insanely powerful. Anyways, guys, I hope you like my review of My Hero Academia. And also, I cannot wait to see the past of One for All and All Might's past. That is going to be super epic. And the past of the previous user before All Might and what really happened and how he died. Hope you guys like this review. Make sure to like, comment, and click that subscribe button. And peace out, guys. Shit, what's the guy's name?